We're back. Okay. This is like Tyler Segment said, three. part three of the street board predictions, predictions of the Monday Night Wars. Yeah, battle. And so far, the WWE is winning two to four one. to one. It's not been even close, <laughs> guys. All right, backstage, Teddy Long welcomes Big Show to SmackDown. Show seems angry, has his arm around him. It's like uh, then uh, T Teddy's looking for, uh, towards. Looking forward to, to Big Show uh, coming to SmackDown. He's even uh, so happy he does, does his little dance. You know how Teddy does his little dance. Uh, <laughs> All right, Sheamus makes his way to the ring. He says, good news is, is that Triple H won't be drafted to SmackDown tonight. The bad news is that he will never wrestle again. Sheamus s says he, he wanted to rid Hunter, and that actually that's actually what he did. He says that now... He wants the WWE Championship. Randy Orton interrupts and makes his way to the ring. He says nobody ha has has despised Triple H more than him. But Orton ha handled his business like a man in the middle of the ring at WrestleMania 25. He says he's, he's never jumped Hunter from behind with a steel pipe. Orton congratulates Sheamus for getting the job done, but tells him he is next in line for the title match. Sheamus says Orton had his shot last night and lost. Out comes John, WWE Champion John Cena, <clears throat> makes his way out and says now would be a perfect time to introduce the guest host. But there ain't one. Yeah. Cena does it again. There ain't one. But don't you remember? <coughs> he got a phone call. Sheamus is shame on you. Look. He was told at the beginning of the night that he is the only man who will defend uh, tonight with, a, with who the no, no, number one contender is. Uh, and again, he goes to his uh, phone. Uh, okay, Cena makes Sheamus versus Orton later for the, uh, for later tonight. Sheamus attempts the bicycle kick, but Orton ducks and goes for the RKO. Sheamus pushes Orton off and escapes the ring. Meh. I'm tired of Sheamus. I don't care that WWE wants to push him. He sucks. It's a shame on us for watching you. Shame on us. Next time I see uh, Sheamus, I'm just going to flip the channel. And we're going to watch TNA. That way we'll have that one less view of watching. <laughs> uh, my next segment was Jesse Neal talks it over with Team 3D about his child shot. Uh, he wants a blessing to become tag team champion. He gets two of them. They said that he can do what he wants to do, but warns him not to pull out, not to put all his trust in Morgan. Uh, Pope comes out, next part. That segment makes his way down to the ring, you know, right arm in the sling because he's banged up. He, uh, guys, he tore his shoulder, put some ligaments in his shoulder, so he's not going to be wrestling for a while. And he got a marker to the eye, thanks to, uh, I think it was Rick Flair or whatever he was, at lockdown. Yeah, something like that. Uh, and then. Oh, yeah, he had a, he came out wearing his eye patch. Yeah, too bad he had an eye patch. Similar to WIB when he came in. And then, uh, with Miss Mr. K. Annoying. <laughs> comes out uh, does a really they, they do a really good skit there you know they were going back and forth uh, I like Kennedy on the mic he's really funny <laughs> and uh, basically they go back to each other and Mister. back and forth and then before, <laughs> and then then after that uh, what is it uh, De Niro it's like, <laughs> I got something for you Here's my reply and then he beats him up, sticks a finger in his eye afterwards. Well, I, I give that segment to TNA. Yeah, TNA was kind of funny. <laughs> and then I believe the next part, before we went to commercial. I think, yeah, I think, I think they were in the commercial right after the, the slap. Because uh, actually he went to commercial after he pokes him in the eye and security pulls him off of it, and then they go to the commercial. Okay. And then, All right, then, next is a 10-man battle royal style match. Uh, Raw versus SmackDown uh, for three draft picks. Rey Mysterio, Kane, uh, Drew McIntyre, who's an Intercontinental title holder. R-Truth and Chad Gaspard versus MVP, Mark Henry, Yoshi Tatsu, Santino Morella, and Ted DiBiase Jr. Blech. Michael Cole notes that it's every man for himself. More than one, one man can be left as long as they are from the same brand. McIntyre is eliminated. Yoshi Yoshi Tattoo is eliminated. MVP is eliminated. Chad and R Truth are eliminated. Mark Henry is eliminated. Kane is the next one eliminated. 
Rey Mysterio is eliminated. Ted Jr. and Santino remain as your sole survivors. Thus, Raw and Santino gets, showing off. gets the, the three draft picks. DiBiase hits Dream Street on Santino. Santino's doing his little ODB moments. <laughs> Bam! Dream Street over. over. <laughs> Sorry, Santino. They just fuck with you all the time. It's messed up. Okay, the, the three draft picks were John Morrison going to Raw. Thank you. Our truth going to Raw. Uh, Edge is also drafted to Raw. Finally. Uh, next segment was Team 3D versus Matt Morgan and Justin Neal. Uh, Sean Waltman, the front part of the match, Sean Waltman was laid out in the parking lot, put through a table by Team 3D. Uh, supposedly he was bleeding. I don't uh, think he was really bleeding. It didn't even look like a parking lot. It just looked like a backstage yeah. large area. Uh, Waltman's laid out and the puddle was on blood, supposedly blood, whatever. Yeah. Uh, fake, whatever. Uh, gets into the ring, this match is underway, Team 3D works over Justin Neal for a few moments for the band interrupts, the band interrupts the match, Hall and Kevin Nash. Uh, Team 3D goes to them, meets them, uh, before, uh, on the ramp rate. Referee calls the match because it's over. Uh, and then Morgan... Uh, knocks out Jesse Needle as he's trying to help him. Pulls him up, throws him over the ropes, uh, hits the foot, uh, hits the choke slam, which he does it correctly for once. You know, he actually nice <laughs> stands over with a tie like, yeah, I'm the champion, blah blah blah, whatever. I don't care. His character's crap. They've t they've destroyed his character. It's not really good anymore. Yeah, he used to be decent. Um, and then, and then it cuts the cuts the commercial. Comes back. Justin Neal staying in the ring with Team 3D. Calls out Morgan. Christy catches up with Morgan backstage. Tells him what's going on. But Morgan says they already forgot about the kid's name and that they're off the clock. Hogan then walks up to him. Does a better deal with Neal or he has to deal with Hogan? Well, uh, Morgan decides to deal with Neal. He, Neal meets up with Morgan. And he just ran up. Nails Morgan with the headbutt. Neal takes him up. Tang belt. But, you know, Morgan nails him with the low blow, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then celebrates, but Shannon Moore comes in after that, after Shannon Moore was interrupted by him earlier. Um, does the kick, drop kick, knocks it to the floor, and then he throws a tension tantrum. And then the two Mohawk wrestlers shake hands, which that might be a new tag team. Tag team. Uh, and then cuts the commercial. Right? All right, uh, the next segment here was uh, Chris Jericho versus Christian, and he Slater. Jericho gets on the mic after his uh, entrance. He says he doesn't care. The Edge has been drafted to Raw. He demands the uh, WWE board to find and suspend Edge immediately. Doesn't t totally blame Edge for his loss tonight. He was thrown off the game by losing to nobody. Uh, he Slater on an NXT. He sells Slater out. Demands him uh, and, uh, and apologizes. Slater makes his way to the ring. He apologizes that Jericho could, couldn't defeat Edge at Extreme Rules and apologizes that Jericho couldn't defeat Slater on NXT. This brings out Slater's pro and Jericho's opponent, Christian, matches the number for the number six draft pick. Great back and forth match, just as you would expect. Uh, these are superstars. Jericho catches Christian in the walls of Jericho, but Christian hits the ropes. Christian comes off the top, top rope. Jericho catches him. Codebreaker and a victory and draft pick for SmackDown. After the match, Jericho delivers a codebreaker to Slater as well. Draft number uh, draft pick number six. Kofi goes to SmackDown. That's going to cut part three. We'll be back.